I did the study with Charles Spurgeon. He puts a verse out there. So I go into the verse and I look at the surrounding, what's surrounding it, what are we talking about, why is this even here? The other day he talked about God being a shepherd and he quoted, um, was it Ezekiel 34? Yeah, Ezekiel 34. If you, Dapster, you would love this. Anybody in chat, do this on your own time. I've done it on here multiple times because it's so awesome. Read Ezekiel 34 and John 10 side by side. Ezekiel 34 essentially is talking about how the shepherds of Israel, the hired hands, the ones that don't have much, you know, investment in the sheep. They're just hired hands. They don't own the sheep. They're hired to kind of take care of other people's sheep. That's how God talks about the leaders in Israel in Ezekiel. You eat the fat, you clothe yourself with the wool, you slaughter the choice animals, but you don't feed the sheep, right? You strength, you have not strengthened the weak, healed the sick, bandaged the, and you have not taken care of my sheep. They're scattered because they had no shepherd. They became food for every wild beast. Then God later says, okay, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it then. I myself will feed the sheep. I myself will lie down, make them lie down. I'm going to bring back the lost sheep. I'm going to bandage them up. So God's like, you messed up, leaders of Israel. I'm going to be the shepherd then and not let you be my sub-shepherds. John 10 is literally Jesus calling out the leaders of the day saying, I am the good shepherd. The higher, so he's literally saying to them in this passage that he is God. He's saying, God said he's going to do it himself. I'm here, right? It's beautiful. It is one of the coolest things you can do is read this chapter with 34 of Ezekiel. Yeah, John 10, Ezekiel 34, do it. Um, anyway, little aside. Oh. <sighs> 